Diabetes research occurs in various locations worldwide. Medical studies can often take years to complete, so research into diabetes is a very slow process. Research into diabetes can include any of the following and much more. New diabetes medication, diabetes vaccines, artificial pancreas technologies, effectiveness of blood glucose testing regimes, comparisons of different medication regimes, research into and causes of diabetic complications. If you've been keeping a close eye on diabetes news, you may know that a number of cures have been found for rodents. However, what works in one species doesn't necessarily work in another, as with humans. One of the difficulties is that human trials are very expensive, costing millions of pounds. The cost means that only a few number of trials are being run each year. Each trial brings a little more understanding, but as the trials can take years to complete, progress is relatively slow. Large research trials are often expensive, and it's often only pharmaceutical companies that can afford to fund the trials. When funding such trials, pharmaceutical companies are taking a bet that they will have a marketable product as a result. The idea of funding startup trials is to help find promising research leads that lead us to understand more about the body and can provide a springboard for further, more in-depth studies. Some of the headline successes in the past few years have been the introduction of injectable treatments for type 2 diabetes and the transplantation success of type 1 diabetes. The injectable medications Bieta and Victoza are now commonly prescribed and have seen success in blood glucose level control. In Russia, transplants from insulin producing cells in pigs saw success in humans and further transplants have now been approved. Type 2 diabetes is a hot area of research and a number of new treatments are currently being looked into. For type 1 diabetes, the quest for an artificial pancreas, a self-functioning insulin pump, has been undergoing a variety of trials to test for safety and effectiveness.